Welcome back to Living 808. I am here with Riley Kamahele from Remember My Name, You'll Be Seeing It. It's a kid-run YouTube channel that features really talented local Kiki. That's right. Today we're featuring Leia DeKrub. She's a 10-year-old and is already an author of a new children's book called The Feeling Flower. Here it is. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm really glad to be here today. <laughs> so how long have you been writing stories? For four years, since I was six years old. My grandma used to tell me her own stories every night, which inspired me to make my own. So my mom got me a journal, wrote all my travels and my stories in it. How exciting. So what's this storybook about? It's about a flower named Zippy that what her feelings you... change by the weather. Her feelings change by the weather. And what wow. inspired you to come up with, with that kind of storyline? Well, mm, Sometimes when you're, when the weather changes, your mood also changes, say, it's so hot, your face becomes so sweaty and you're irritated because you don't like to be sweaty. It's just like gross. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. So then you get into a bad mood, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that doesn't only That's happen me. with kids. That happens with adults, too. <laughs> yeah, so she's technically what, she has all the feelings there in mine, except for one, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is a beautiful book. Um, who is the illustrator? Well, I can't really pronounce her name, but she's from a different country where I do not know where, but she's <laughs> well, a you, really good you drawer. You the pictures first, right? And then she kind of copied it, it helped you it. out. Yeah. I love it. It is a beautiful book. Um, I also read that you are world schooled. What does that mean? Well, world schoolers are people that, well, they study about the region, the culture, and the food and the language of one country, then they visit it. Okay, so you do that at home. Yeah. So you I learn know, about I different countries, the different language, the food, all that good stuff, and then you actually go to these countries? Yes. I want your life. That sounds <laughs> amazing. Um, how many countries have you visited? Over 25. And you're, you're how old? Ten. Ten. And you have been oh. over 25 countries. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, what are some of your favorite countries that you visited? I love Japan and Korea. I love every, I like, well, in Asia, I like places in Asia. And I also like um, Lebanon, where, it's my, where my dad lives. Wow. Wow. What? That is such an interesting life. I mean, uh -huh. gosh, what a wonderful opportunity. I want life. <laughs> yeah. Do you like traveling? Or I know sometimes when I take my kids who are about your age on mm. trips, they miss home. You know, sometimes mm. they I don't, don't miss home. <laughs> <laughs> they don't realize how lucky they are to get these opportunities. Yeah, I know how lucky I am. So I, once I go to the country, I'm like, oh, I want this to be my home. And then when I go to another, I want this to be my home. And my mom's like, choose one. <laughs> Like Hawaii or this place? I'm like, this place. <laughs> Terrific. Mm -hmm. Going back to your writing, um, are you working on any other stories now that your first book has been published? Mm. Yes. I want to make um, another ch children's book, the Zippy and the Four Seasons, which is summer, spring, fall, and winter. Oh, that's going to be a very um, hard story. <laughs> <laughs> what are, what are, are there certain things that you'd like to write about? I like to write about my travels. I like to write about animals, flowers. I like to write about nature. Terrific. When you're not writing, what do you like to do? When I'm not writing, I like to go swimming because I'm a racer. And I also like to try weird food. <laughs> I, well, I bet that happens a lot since you travel so much. Yeah. Um, is, there, is there a food that you tried while traveling that is is weird what's the most weird thing you've ever well, tried well i did try bread and sprinkles in the well the netherlands which was really bitter oh it's not a good memory because that doesn't sound so weird bread and sprinkles yeah but i feel tasted. like i would eat that as a child <laughs> but it would put just it's very bitter sprinkles not so good <laughs> no, no. Well, thank you so much for being here yes. and for telling us about your book. Again, it's called The, the Feeling Flower. Um, where can people buy it? Well, they can buy it online, like on Amazon. Okay. And it's $10 for one book. Okay, terrific. Sounds amazing. This and is we, so cute. It is. <laughs> and we want to go and support Leia uh, and all of her adventures. Um, good luck to you. This is very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. We are going to have much more on Living 808 when we come back. Stay with us.